Hey guys, what's uh, what's up? Hey guys, it's Saturday, it's 5 p.m. I had an awesome workout plan for today. I was gonna go to the track and do this thing with the stuff. Then I woke up today and I just felt like complete crap. <laughs> I didn't feel like running. I don't feel like running. I've been feeling really droopy and blobbery and I just, mm, I just don't want to go. But I still need to do something active just because I can't like just not do something. So I thought this would be a great occasion to show you guys gymnastics on the still rings. And I haven't been on the rings in forever. I'm like so excited right now, which is good because I'm like, I need a little, I need a little pick me up today. So, so these rings, they come with these straps. I got them from gymnastics bodies like, God, forever ago, years ago. But you can hang them anywhere. And this is what I do when I travel. If I want to bring like a gym with me or an upper body worker with me, I bring my rings because they're really easy. Uh, that one looks like a good one. It's going to just be strong enough to where you don't, you don't fall. All right. So you take these and you just kind of throw them over. It didn't work. Then once you get them down here, you put these things on. It's pretty easy. Ooh. You might be thinking, Jake, this has nothing to do with running. I know. Remember I talked about sometimes there's days you just need to like take totally off from your running. Today for me is one of those days. If you haven't seen that video, click here. I don't know why I woke up today, I felt like total crap. My heart rate was elevated and I just kind of felt, I could totally do the workout today, but I'd rather save it for a day like tomorrow where I'm just gonna feel really good because I think I'm gonna feel really good tomorrow. But there's no reason to push it today, one. And then two, usually when I get into my training pretty heavily, I take a day off a week anyway, so and it's usually Saturday. So I wanna do rings today for two reasons. One, uh, they're super fun and enjoyable and I haven't done them in a long time. And two, I've really been neglecting my strength training. Like I haven't done anything really i've just been running and i feel very bendy and not stable and I've been, it's just my, my posture has been terrible recently i've been at a computer and I, if i do something like this twice a week it's just enough for me to maintain a nice like good posture good stable core which helps with the running and everything so all right so the ring strength series i'm gonna do two muscle ups into like a five second front lever and then into a five second back lever that's it no i will not be doing the full version of the front lever nor the back lever I haven't started retraining that strength move, so if I want to get it, it'll take a while to get it back. I'm just going to do like the, the bent knee version. One. Two. Oh yeah, I'm going to add an L set. Time for the front lever. So I changed it. I did two straddle front levers, negatives, which I'm surprised I could do so slowly to be totally honest. And the back levers actually hurt my pec a few weeks ago. So I just did like the easier version because your because back levers put a lot of torque on your pecs. So like I mentioned in other videos, I, I did gymnastics for a few years in college. I did club gymnastics for four years and I also interned at the Penn State gymnastics team, the varsity team. It was a super awesome experience. Some of the most amazing strength athletes you'll ever see in your life. So a typical gymnastics uh, still rings routine will last about 45 seconds or so. Basically they have a series of moves like you just saw and they have to hold it for like two seconds. It's two second minimum and it's always, it's always static strength. So you have to be perfectly still, perfectly tense. Usually your limbs are totally extended. The physical adaptations are insane because one when you hold something and you contract everything your heart goes up to like crazy high blood pressures We're talking like 400 over 300 systolic over diastolic versus normal Which is 120 over 80 and the muscles are in a totally cool state They're totally lengthened and they're also but the arms like the bicep and the pec are just at like such a disadvantaged position The bicep for instance, it's strongest right here like this kind of angle But when it's fully extended, it's totally like at a huge disadvantage the amount of training that goes into strengthening this tendon for a gymnast It's like 10 years to be able to get to the point Point where they can do iron crosses and this is the man I fancy to take the and planches and Maltese's like this the, the torque that goes on here we're talking like two to three times your body weight on a muscle group it's staggering the amount of strength that goes into it all right I'm gonna change the routine I want to do two muscle ups two straddle front levers and then I'm gonna try to straddle back levers I'll pay attention to my pack and make sure it doesn't feel wonky I feel like I can do it though <laughs> 
as well as it could go. My booby feels okay, doesn't feel too bad. So I went back and forth on the front levers and back levers. Those are called tick tocks. Tick tock. <sighs> I'm tired, I'm calling it there. So I know today's episode wasn't uh, specifically focused on running. So I was thinking about, I was thinking about like what value I could provide to you guys. You gotta be careful as you're pursuing your goal, don't let yourself kind of drift away. You know, if there's things you like to do or there's things that make you happy or you don't, your really heart doesn't really feel into it for the day. Take a step back. With running or pretty much any sport, it's, it's not about any one day. It's about an entire timeline that you devote to the sport. So with running, you could have a fantastic workout on one day or you could have a miserable workout on one day, or you could not have any workout on a day. It's not that one day that makes the race in a few weeks or a few months. It's, it's the months and the years of training that go into it. And you have to support yourself mentally. So, so yeah, today I did something that I liked, I thought was fun. There's other benefits that I get from it, physically and stuff, but, but today I didn't feel like running. I wasn't a runner today, and uh, that's totally cool. I absolutely do not feel guilty about it. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna have an awesome workout, or I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll feel terrible again. I'll take, a day, I'll take another day off, who cares? Thank you.